It was cracking everybody. New video. So, again, I'm doing it at the shop. Oh, before I forget, first thing I wanna do, um, I did a video recently and I shouted out my Patreon, patron, um, patrons on Patreon. And there was a glitch and I thought, I, I know I lost one, one person um, no longer on my Patreon, but another one is and there was some kind of glitch and so I forgot to mention her. So I wanna make sure I specifically shout out Hopi. Guys says Hopi, I appreciate your support. Now, this video is gonna be a little different. You know me, I'm all over the place, but, uh, you know, when we're in prison, we're constantly trying to think of new ways to, uh, new ways to get money, right? New hustle. Just, you know, it is what it is. You know, of course, 99% of the time it's gonna be something illegal, but that's what that world is, you know? Now, Being that way for so long, always trying to identify a hustle and figure some shit out. When you come out here, it's gonna be the exact same thing. Only, it's not gonna be illegal, right? And out here, there's so many other ways to get your money. Um, so one thing that I've been, um, the last few weeks, what I started focusing on is real estate, right? And I wanna uh, make sure, I'm gonna try to put their, their a link to their channel. This is going crazy with the air. Got my barn's walking by over there. But my machine's running. Anyways, I'm gonna try to put a link to their channels. One is, uh, I don't even know how to say his name, Thatch Win. Another one, the other channel is called Faster Freedom, right? Check those channels out. And they're teaching a method of investing in real estate called the Burr Method, B-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R, right? And I want you guys to just look into it. <clears throat> you know, our eyes and our ears gotta always be open. We gotta always be paying attention to what's going on. And, you know, with all this, this pandemic, right? And the loss of work, the decreased wages, decreasing overtime. It's sad to say, but it's presenting an opportunity for a lot of people. And what that is, is there's pretty soon there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna default on their mortgages mortgages and there's gonna be a lot of property available and the banks they don't want to hold on to all their property and so as as cool as my industry is if if I can get into this real estate game with this Burr Method, and what the Burr Method is, you guys go to the channels that I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about, and I'm gonna try to link them, remember to link them. But you're gonna be able to buy property however many times you want without using a single dime of your own. You're gonna borrow money to get the home, to rehab the home, and then you're gonna get the bank to appraise it and give you money. With that money, you're gonna pay back your original lender, right? Which would be a private lender. There's ways to go about finding it. It's all in these channels, man. And once you do that, you're not gonna move into that home. You're gonna rent the home out and the renters are gonna pay off the mortgage. And you're gonna have floating money there with, where you're gonna go to pocket and you just repeat this cycle. And you repeat it over and over. And 
I've told you guys about Robert Kiyosaki, he's an entrepreneur, and the more that I listen to this dude, the more shit makes sense to me. What we, what we need to understand is the opposite of what schools have taught us. And a lot of these schools, the majority of these schools, what they're teaching us, they're not even realizing it's what the banks want us to know. Go to school, get a job, earn a living, right? But when we do that, we're dependent on a boss, right? When we need to become the boss, our own boss, and do our own thing, right? And so, you know, me being late to the game, you guys, a lot of you guys might already know this, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning the difference between good debt and bad debt. You know, bad debt, for an example, would be buying a car. That car is not making you no money. It's taking money from you. Buying a home can be bad debt. And people would, if you're buying the home to live in, that's, that's bad debt. And people would say, well, the home's gonna appreciate. Yeah, over time. But if you rent an apartment or rent a home and you buy a home and you rent that home out that you own, that income is infinite. It's never ending. Someone will always need a home and you just rent it out. And that money's gonna keep coming in, revolving and revolving and revolving. And so, as I'm learning these things and I'm thinking about it, you know, I, I'm, I'm like, I wanna make sure I let you guys know because I know we're all struggling, you know? I mean, shit is rough right now. But, like I said, look for these opportunities. These, these opportunities that are coming up, you know? Another thing on the side note, I don't know how many of you guys pay attention to uh, what's going on in the world of investments. I don't know how many of you guys have heard of uh, uh, Warren Buffett. They call him the Oracle of Omaha. Uh, when he moves his money, it's usually because something big is gonna happen, right? And this dude has moved his money, a lot of his money out of the airline industry and out of the banking. And he sat it in gold. He's buying precious metal. And, you know, these are the things that the media isn't, for whatever reason, I don't know why they're not letting us know that this dude who his moves usually affect a lot or he sees shit that's coming, we should be knowing about this. So, uh, I think we need to be careful. Whatever's going on, whatever's coming up, should be coming up soon. And, uh, Right now is the time for us to get out of this mindset of um, being an employee. And there's so much shit on, on YouTube. Other than the regular shit that we watch, there's so much shit that, that can educate us and get us ahead. And I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out to you guys, man. Check out these channels with these entrepreneurs. Get that mindset, that boss mindset. Fuck that employee mindset. You know, last night, uh, well, yesterday afternoon, I took a drive, sat down with a camarada of mine. Uh, he did 30 years, ex-lifer. And uh, we were talking about the same things, man. Um, having that mindset in there doesn't change when we come out here. And we were, we were discussing um, whether or not we we could or should partner up or create two separate LLCs in two different places because like I said, I'm gonna be moving. Um, but um, for two X cons, both of us about three years out, to be as successful as we are right now, but to have our eyes on bigger things. And we're, we're, we're studying these new things, these new avenues, and we know ain't no stopping us. Uh, I wanted to make sure that you guys 
feel the same way and do the same thing. Invest in yourself. Uh, we work these jobs that we're not happy with, but they're paying the bills for now. And um, we can put ourselves in better positions. And like I said, those of you willing to check out these websites, check out these YouTube channels, I mean, take your notes, figure out how you can work this in your life and be your own boss, man. Make your own way. All this, this, this pandemic shit, all it does for me and, and guys like me that have been through the system and been through all the shit, it just lets us know we have to create our own lanes. You know? All right, you got me this time with this fake ass pandemic shit. The disease, the, the, the virus is real. I know that, but it's a fucking 99% chance you're gonna survive it. Numbers have come out. So whatever this thing was for, you know, I have my theories and I don't need to be uh, demonetized by YouTube, but it's it was basically a reset button. It was a hold up and look around, but you know what I mean? So this is this video is long enough. Uh, that man, I'm out. You guys be good.